In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Faithful God, light of all hearts, we praise you for Saint Monica, woman of living faith and reconciling love. She nursed her son, Saint Augustine, in the name of Jesus and urged him tirelessly to a Christian way of life. To an, in answer to her prayers for Saint Augustine's conversion, you gave her greater joy than all her tears had dared to ask. Through the intercession of Saint Monica, we ask you to hear our prayers. Here you may mention your request. As you once captivated the heart of Saint Mon Augustine, so now draw our hearts to you. Beauty ever ancient, ever new. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning is now, and we shall be ruled without a name. Saint Monica, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Russia Imperata against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calumsur. Pray for us. Saint Augustine. Pray for us. Saint Monica. Pray for us. Prayer for the 500th anniversary of the arrival of the Santo Nino image in Cebu. Senior Santo Nino de Cebu, you are the abiding presence of the Father in our journey of faith as we celebrate the 500th anniversary of the arrival of our miraculous image on our shores. We humbly ask you to send the Holy Spirit upon us so that we may become your faithful apostles in the vast and complex arena of today's world. May our Christian faith and our deep devotion to you become the source of renewal in our society as we go along our pilgrim way to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Signor Santo Nino de Cebu, have mercy in us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some announcements.
better rejoice than come here. Open your hearts to the Lord. Today, as you are dead, and tell me, joy, set them free. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Today, happy as you are dead. Sing hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In this Eucharistic sacrifice, we pray for a shift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts the world, that God our Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, grant success to those working to eradicate this curse. Help us all to persevere in faith and welcome to his kingdom all who pass away because of this disease. We also remember all the intentions of the pilgrims and devotees of Señor Santo Niño. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, your Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop Saint Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let's be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses, hearing the voice of the Lord from the burning bush, said to him, When I go to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. If they ask me, what is his name? What am I to tell them? God replied, I am who am. Then he added, That is what you shall tell the children of Israel. I am sent me to you. God spoke further to Moses, 
Thus shall you say to the children of Israel, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever. This my title are all for all generations. Go and assemble the elders of Israel and tell them, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has appeared to me and said, I am concerned about you and about the way you are being treated in Egypt. And so I have decided to let you up out of the misery of Egypt into the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, a land flowing with milk and honey. Thus they will heed your message. Then you and the elders of Israel shall go to the king of Egypt and say to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has sent us word. Permit us then to go a three days journey in the desert, that we may offer sacrifice to the Lord our God. Yet I know what the king of Egypt will not allow you to go unless he is forced. I will stretch out my hand, therefore, and smite Egypt by doing all kinds of wondrous deeds there. After that, he will send you away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Covenant forever. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke His name. Make known among the nations His. All the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. He greatly increased His people and made them stronger than their foes, whose hearts He changed so they hate said his people and dealt deceitfully with his servants. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He sent Moses his servant Wonders in the land of all. 
the morning birds is for the night for the bird. And The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. With this simple invitation of Jesus, Come to me, all you who labor and burdened, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. This invitation of Christ is very timely as we are now facing lots of problems and challenges in life. We know that it's part of our journey. No one is exempted. But sometimes we feel that it's too much for us and too heavy for us to carry on. And we need someone that will help us, not just for a moment, for the rest of our lives. And only Jesus can do that. He knows what we are struggling right now. Just like what happened in our first reading. God hears the cry of his people and he sends Moses to lead them out from the hand of Pharaoh and invites us to come to him. He is ready to lighten our burden, to comfort us in our afflictions, and to console us in our sorrows. Let us carry our cross and follow him. In following Jesus, let us also learn to be meek and humble of heart. Let us pattern our hearts after his heart. How? By looking at the characteristics of the heart of Jesus. First, Jesus' heart is pure. So our hearts must be also pure. Jesus did not speak any harsh words to people who hurt and betrayed him. Even at this point, at the point of his death on the cross. Every word that comes out from his mouth is word of life and encouragement. A pure heart will speak good and encouraging words to people. Don't say anything that can destroy and discourage other people. A pure heart will neither find faults nor look, look for mistakes from the other. A pure heart will humbly accept one's faults. Second, Jesus' heart is clean. Our hearts must be clean. We know that we have lots of bad things in our hearts, in our hearts that needs to be uprooted. Let us remember that it is not the things that, comes, that come from the outside that can make us unclean, but the things that come out from our hearts that make us unclean. Jesus Christ is faithful to the will of the Father. Our clean heart will move us to, the, to be faithful also to the will of the Father. Lastly, Jesus' heart is full of love. 
that Jesus is the manifestation of the love of the Father for us. He gave up His life because of His love for us. Our hearts must be full of love, a heart that is willing to sacrifice our own happiness for the sake of our brothers and sisters who are in need. Jesus' heart is compassionate and merciful. He always forgives us in our transgressions. We should have a loving heart that is always forgiving and a heart that does not get tired of serving. A loving heart will never resort to blaming or condemning, never devise or alienates, but uplifts and consoles. My dear friends, let us all together embrace and carry our cross with full of courage and continue following Jesus Christ. We are not alone in this journey. Jesus is always with us and help us carrying our cross. Amen. Jesus said, Come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I'll give you rest. Confident of this promise, we now present, present to him our needs. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That a church may guide us in the ways of peace and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are tempted to despair, under the crashing wave of their problems, may seek refuge by placing their anxieties and worries in the hands of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering from mental torment may find peace in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those who are weighed down by bodily pain and illness may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nurse them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That a servant of God, Theophilo Hamumut Bishop, be raised to the altar of the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions and prayers offered by the pilgrims and devotees of Signor Santo Nino, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For peace in our country and in the whole world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all indirect patient care, give them strength for their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those isolated in their homes, sustain them in joy and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For decision makers of all levels, send them your wisdom and good counsel to serve their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died because of the pandemic and those who grieve their loss and isolation, comfort them in their sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, your Son promised to give us rest when overburdened. Grant that we may always respond to his guidance and strengthen us to be instruments of his peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
My sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to the hands with the praising Lord of His name, for good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, and the offerings we set upon the sacred altar on the feast day of blessed of Saint Bonaventure, that bestowing on us your pardon. Our oblations, we give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us in the festival of Saint Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Oh, 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 oh. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them, let the Jew fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, and gave it his samples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us of the world. For by your cross and the resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer your Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints of Lisi throughout the ages, we merit to bequeath ours to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, under him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and form divine teaching with their to sing. from every evil, grace and peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, the kingdom, the power, and the glory that you Christ with the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And in your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Take away the 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that I should enter under my roof, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of Saint Bonaventure, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits roaming around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Holy Angels in Heaven, pray for us. Blessing of Religious Articles let us pray. God, by his word, all things are made holy. Pour out your blessing on these religious articles and grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law, with a spirit of thanksgiving, may experience by your power health in body and protection in soul as they invoke your most holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Good morning. Can I feel my love? Can I search for her?